Franken accused of groping journalist at Media Matters Party for Obama inauguration. A prominent liberal journalist whose work has appeared in the Los Angeles Times and Newsday accused Minnesota Sen. Al Franken on Wednesday of groping her at a Media Matters party during President Barack Obama's first inauguration in 2009. In a lengthy piece for The Atlantic, journalist and radio host Tina Dupai accused the Democratic senator of putting his hand on my waist, grabbing a handful of flesh, then he squeezed at least twice while the two posed for a photo at the party. It shrunk me, Dupai, who had been married for two years at the time of the alleged sexual assault, wrote in The Atlantic. It's like I was no longer a person. Only ornamental. It said, you don't matter, and I do. He wanted to cop a feel, and he demonstrated he didn't need my permission. The party was hosted by Media Matters for America. A progressive news watchdog site that is known for its aggressive criticism of conservative journalists and media outlets, including its war on Fox News. Dupai becomes the eighth woman to accuse Franken of unwanted sexual advances, and her accusations come only a day after another woman accused the two term senator of forcibly trying to kiss her following a taping of his radio show in 2006. That accuser, who spoke to Politico under the condition of anonymity, said Franken pursued her after her boss had left and she was collecting her things. She said Franken tried to kiss her, but that she ducked. Franken, a former Saturday Night Live performer who is a host on the now defunct Air America radio network at the time, allegedly followed up by telling her it was his right as an entertainer. He was between me and the door and he was coming at me to kiss me, she told Politico. It was very quick, and I think my brain had to work really hard to be like wait, what is happening? But I knew whatever was happening was not right and I ducked. Support for Franken has rapidly vanished amid the mounting allegations of sexual misconduct, with a majority of the Senate's Democrats calling on the two-term lawmaker to quit. Franken, the former comedian who made his name on Saturday Night Live, faces a chorus of calls to step aside, and Democratic senators said they expected their liberal colleague to resign. Enough is enough, said Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York. We need to draw a line in the sand and say none of it is okay, none of it is acceptable, and we, as elected leaders, should absolutely be held to a higher standard. Though the writing appeared to be on the wall, Franken's departure was not certain. A tweet posted Wednesday evening on Franken's Twitter account said, Senator Franken is talking with his family at this time and plans to make an announcement in D. C. tomorrow. Any reports of a final regular decision are inaccurate. A national conversation about sexual harassment has intensified this fall after the heavily publicized case of movie mogul Harvey Weinstein who was accused of many acts of sexual misconduct, including rape, by actresses and other women. Just on Wednesday, Time magazine named as its Person of the Year the Silence Breakers, women who have come forward on sexual harassment. Punishment has been swift for leaders in entertainment, media and sports, while members of Congress have tried to survive the onslaught of allegations. Franken already faced a Senate Ethics Committee investigation into previous claims by several other women that he groped them or sought to forcibly kiss them. Franken to deliver Senate floor speech amid new claims of sexual misconduct, backlash from Dems. Minnesota Democratic Senator Al Franken is planning to deliver a speech from the Senate floor shortly before noon on Thursday. Amid speculation over whether he will accept growing calls from female colleagues to resign over sexual misconduct accusations, Minnesota Public Radio reported late Wednesday he would resign. Though Franken's office pushed back saying it wasn't a done deal yet, his office issued a tweet Thursday morning saying only that he would give a floor speech at 11.45 a.m. Eastern Time. If Franken steps down, it will be up to Minnesota Governor Mark Dayton to appoint a successor. Dot multiple sources reported that the likely candidate could be Democratic Lieutenant Governor Tina Smith, a close ally of Franken. Any successor, if he steps down, 
would serve until a special election is held in 2018 to determine who would fill the final two years of Franken's term. On Wednesday, Franken faced a tidal wave of resignation calls by members of his own party. By mid-afternoon, 23 of them wanted him gone. Enough is enough. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand said. Gillibrand's sentiment was echoed by Sens. Camila Harris of California, Marie Hirono of Hawaii, Claire McCoskill of Missouri, Tammy Baldwin of Wisconsin, Maria Cantwell of Washington, Debbie Stabenow of Michigan, Maggie Hassan of New Hampshire, Tammy Duckworth of Illinois and Heidi Heitkamp of North Dakota. Sexual harassment and misconduct should not be allowed by anyone and should not occur anywhere. I believe the best thing for Senator Franken to do is step down. Harris, D. Califf, said. Hassan, D.N.H., tweeted, It is clear that Av Franken has engaged in a pattern of egregious and unacceptable behavior toward women. He should resign. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, a Republican, weighed in. It now appears Senator Franken has lost the support of his colleagues. And most importantly, his constituents, McConnell said. I do not believe he can effectively serve the people of Minnesota in the U.S. Senate any longer. He added. The Minneapolis Star Tribune, the largest newspaper in Franken's home state, called for his immediate resignation late Wednesday. They questioned his ability to function effectively after losing the confidence of so many colleagues. If this is to be an actual turning point in our culture, there must be real and lasting consequences to behaviors that never should have been accepted. The editorial board wrote that these incidents came so late in Franken's life should make him all the more accountable. Instead, he has mostly offered hollow apologies that failed to acknowledge what happened. Dot Franken's political career has been in peril since California radio broadcaster Leanne Tweeden posted a blog detailing how he kissed and groped her without her consent in 2006. She also tweeted a picture showing a grinning Franken standing over her as she sleeps, his hands over her breasts. Franken has since apologized, but other allegations from seven additional women have surfaced since Tweeden's claims. The latest was a woman who claimed she was groped at a Media Matters party during the first Obama inauguration. Before that, another woman accused Franken of forcibly trying to kiss her, this time after a taping of his radio show in 2006. The woman, who spoke to Politico, claims Franken pursued her after her boss had left and she was collecting her things. The woman was in her 20s at the time. The accuser, who was not identified, said Franken tried to kiss her, but that she ducked. Franken, a former Saturday Night Live performer who is a host on the now-defunct Air America radio network at the time, allegedly followed up by telling her it was his right as an entertainer. He was between me and the door, and he was coming at me to kiss me, she told Politico. It was very quick, and I think my brain had to work really hard to be like, wait, what is happening? But I knew whatever was happening was not right and I ducked. Dot Franken has strongly denied those allegations. The calls for Franken to step down came one day after Rep. John Conyers, D. Michigan, retired following numerous allegations of sexual misconduct against him. In Alabama, several women have accused Senate Republican candidate Roy Moore of sexual misconduct when they were in their teens, including one who said she was 14 when Moore molested her. Moore denies the allegations. President Trump, who had multiple allegations of sexual harassment against himself when running for president, has endorsed more. The Republican National Committee is also supporting